Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to some more Space Crew. So we'll see how this episode goes. Um, I suppose apologies for the surprise that was splitting the last episode in two. I wasn't trying to create a cliffhanger situation or anything like that, but as we sort of covered off on the tail end of that last episode, I suppose, um, this game has just become a very long and the sort of tooth grind. Now, people have pointed out some issues with how I'm doing weapon management, and these are fair points. Um, but I still think that um, people are starting to sort of wise up to the, the underlying game philosophy of this. So there's a cool gameplay loop. I really enjoy it. It's interesting. But unfortunately, it seems less about iterating on the loop and more just stretching it out by padding it with more dudes and that sort of stuff. Having said that, I'll try and be a little bit more attentive to my weapon management so that I'm shooting the right guns at the right things, you know, whether it's the... Uh, the laser or the bullets, depending on shield or hull. Um, I mean, in my defense, it's a little bit fiddly. I will just actually say really quickly on the subject of micromanagement, it's not like I've done research papers on it or anything like that, but this game sets itself up to be a, um, like a lot of fire and forget, you know, put the guys in the gun seats, put this dude in the shield spot, put that guy in nav, and then sort of micromanage just little bits and pieces of the so sort of almost overall strategy of the fight. But the sort of micromanagement as opposed to macro of the minutiae of saying, oh, that guy's on the right side of the ship, so now I have to switch my gun between laser and that. Especially when you can't actually control what side of your ship is engaging the enemy. I actually find those to be at odds with each other. If you follow, I'm trying to use my words as best as I can, but I think that the um, the micromanagement of saying, all right, let's put X, you know, let's put X auto cannons here and X bloody laser guns here, like two and two, that's that's a broad strategic outlook before you leave. But then asking me to switch between the two types of gun on the fly, depending on the side of engagement of which I can't control at all, I think is actually a stretch, and that's a different type of strategy, and the two of them probably shouldn't be in the same game. But that's just my take. I'd be curious what people have to say. Anyway, just a bit of a preamble, because there was a lot of comments came in on the previous one. Um, those of you that do jab me a bit about, uh, about you know, oh, if you didn't do this or you put power in the wrong spot, and I, for the most part, I see that a lot of you actually appreciate that it's it's fairly stressful. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's 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 all good and well to have a YouTube video that you can pause and rewind and have 2020 hindsight, but I think I'm doing okay um, in the scheme of things, but I'll do my best to take all that feedback on board positively. Um, let's just go down the list here. What's going with Paz? Now, Paz... Oh, look at this. We've got a... Oh, we've got a few new presets. What's this one? Engineering Specialist... Wait, why is it locked? Oh, have they patched it? This is what I was talking about, pre locked research previews that was in Bomber Crew. So it tells us what we might be able to move toward. I wonder if it does the same thing for... Yeah, look at that. This is the Starship Troopers helmet. I wonder why this wasn't in here at launch. Yeah, look, so you can sort of future-proof your dude. You see what I mean? You can... Look at this thing. Personal cloak? Yeah, right. All sorts of cool cool bits and bobs. Well, let's go back to the preset. Engineering specialist. Well, it's locked. We can't do it. Um, oh, and we've got the... What is this? Improved equipment. Okay. Well, we're just going to... As we're trying to get into the habit, we're going to try and just do a bit of a general loadout. Um, so what's this? Extra oxygen? Now, I don't think there's really call for that. We haven't really had an oxygen problem. Um, a little bit of radiation resistance and oxygen. And what are we trading off there? 10 armor and speed. You know what? I actually might give that to him, if only because we don't want- we don't necessarily want the speed debuff on Paz, because he does get up and run around a little bit. So we'll just- we'll chuck that on him. Um... Yeah, now look, I don't know why, like, I love that these are the alien, the uniforms from Alien 1. That, that's so cool. But there's also no practical reason to wear them at all. Um, alright, so it's always armor for speed. And that's speed for radiation. Ah, uh, so you just gotta take the speed hit no matter what, don't you? And is there any hybrid between armor and heavy armored suit? Minus 30. 
You know what? We might actually leave him in this Mark I light armoured suit. I think that's an alright balance. And he's an engineering officer, so we're going to put him in uh, yellow. Yeah, yellow's in yellow is engineering and security, right? What was Geordie LaForge wearing, right? Okay, cool. Um, what's this? A, a revive tool improves the speed of reviving a crew. No, no, no. You need the engineering tool. There's no two ways about it, big fella. Same story here. Oh, okay. You get armor and radiation. Armor. Yeah, we don't really want to lose the speed. Just radiation. Oh, no, no. Oh, that's speed. Powered gloves. Oh. But that gives us some radiation and some armor, but no loss of speed. We're going to put them on. We're going to put them on. Because he does get a little bit of radiation where he is. And these are like speed boots. Oh, five armor for negative 20 speed. It's not worth it. That's not worth it. Gravity boots. No, I'm going to keep... I'm going to do this, the speed one. The only person in the ship that probably would want gravity boots might be him. Oh, actually, no, no, no. Whoever's our chief sort of fighter, you know, our that, that goes and fights dudes. Probably makes sense to have gravity boots, I'd say. All right, anyway. I like that we're getting everyone in different sort of uniforms as we do it case by case. Oh, I don't think there's any training to be done. Um, how are we going? Two and a half grand. Um, let's have a look here. Oh, look. Yeah, yeah, good, good. So they have updated it so that we can sort of future-proof. 22,000 for the Mark IV. It's not that far away. We've got Mark II armor across the board, which I, there's no disadvantage from having armor. So I think you have to have it. Um... Oh, wow, we can have a squiz at where this is. Oh, no, they don't really tell you where it's going. So what have we got here? Standard shields mark two. High capacity shields. And fast charge shields. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Jury's still out on that one. Weapons, we need to fix the weapon situation. That, that seems to be an agreement. And look at this. We unlock some new toys as well. Missile launcher for 31,000. Jesus Christ. And a rail gun. High damage kinetic weapon. Yeah. Effective against hulls. And it requires reactor power. Okay, that seems pretty bloody good. Missile pod. Guided missiles. Effective dislodging armor plating. Less effective to shields. Can okay, cool. I sort of feel like now that they're giving us some, some juicy choices, maybe we... We start diversifying. Effective against hulls. And then that's also against hulls, right? Or dislodging armor plating. I'm assuming that means hulls. So we've got three things that are good at hulls and one are good against... Um, lasers. Now... Alright, so if we're going to try and be a sensible kitty... Our main shooters... Uh, on the back gun, the rear gun, so we'll have him as plasma, and the right we need to have as... See, I can't afford those. And I've got the hybrid. Can I, like, uninstall down to a, uh, to a Gatling gun? Why does it cost 400 bucks to install that there? Hey, give me a rebate, you bastard. All right, well, we'll just, ha we'll leave it. We'll just remember to switch. Okay, and I guess we'll do the same thing left. All right, so we don't need to make any major updates, but we want, I want more money. I want to buy these toys. They look sick. Um, engines, we've got two standard engines and, oh, look at that. That's just, the Mark II is fantastic across the board, like without having to concede anything. What's the difference there? Speed? And better radiation emissions. To be honest, it hasn't been terrible. We, like, we, no one's gone down from the radiation. It's been pretty rough. Um, but having a little bit extra speed would be pretty big. 400 armor, 500, 800. Yeah, you, you know what? We're going to... And this is the one that would radiate him. Stuff it. I'm going to go for it. Because we could use the extra evasiveness. So I'm going to upgrade that. Having said that, as soon as he does it, we haven't had trouble, like, we don't really repair our engines that much. God damn. I should have thought of that first. Actually, here's the test. I'm going to put an agile engine here, right? Because that's faster, less armor, 
and we'll see if it starts busting because I can't remember the last time we've had to repair an engine, you know? Yeah, we're going to do that. Agile, but that's going to... Oh, 30 bucks. Okay. Very good. Um, yeah, that's probably the ultimate test, actually. We'll see how it holds up. All right. So I'll, I'll remember to switch to auto guns as soon as we get going. Um... Very high risk. Look at this. Phasmid Mothership. Get stuffed. Alright, but we definitely need the money. We need the money bad. Escort. Eliminate champion. I feel like once we get the railgun or missile launcher, we'll take on the eliminate champion. This this bastard is annoying prick, right? And then let's have a look here. Escort ship. What? Escort transport. We did that before. 2,250 versus 2,000. Investigate phasmid activity. That's only two stops. Is that what I'm seeing there? For 2,000 bucks? You know what? I'm going to do that, right? I won't, I won't fatigue you guys with another super long mission, right? But let's do... This can be a bloody... This can be a Chicago Bulls bloody rebuilding stage. Oh, hang on. Fucking Hupin Garrett's in this. Oh, god damn. Maybe we'll get him. We might actually have a chance here. All right. Escobar, switch weapons. So he's on the auto cannon and he's on the laser, which is ideal. All right. Meanwhile, no, 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 no. Mm. Mm. Paz, you can go over there for a sec, mate. Oh, Paz is going grey. Poor bastard. It's, it's the job stressing him out. Put him on an auto cannon as well. Cavallo. That should just be a plasma gun by default, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I have no interest in switching the pressing the little toggle button. This in the middle of a fight. I don't think that's sensible at all. Um, all right. I guess we go. Um, I guess the only thing is, is probably set up the power first. The default power when it's not boosted. If we want it even across the board. See, I'm not convinced that we do. Ugh. The weapon power increases effectiveness of energy weapons. I'm kind of thinking... That might be the go like that. And look, this is one of those things where I'm never going to be right and neither is the guy arguing against me because it's. I think there's valid points about how you deal with damage or an encounter. You have a look at the the majority of people that play Dark Souls, for example, and these aren't. this isn't my mindset. They love sword and board. They love, they'll take chip damage and they'll sort of hold up a, uh, the armor and hold up the sh uh, shield and do anti-stagger. And they'll just take a little bit of damage over time and then they'll finally sneak their little attack in. That's how most people play that game. Me personally, I, I subscribe to the concept of like... Oh wow, they're already here? Oh, Hubin Garrett's here already? I subscribe to the thing that do the damage first. If you kill the dude, you don't need to mitigate damage, correct? Alright, we will go defensive for the evasive bonus. Alright, people really harp about that. All right, we'll slow down. Paz, we'll do the boost now, and we'll take the engine boost there, right? Now, shield power increases the rate at which your shields recharge. Some people have been a bit critical about my shield power choice. That's fine. We can't stay in that view, because I have to watch if we're getting boarded. We're going to stand and fight against this guy, by the way. Holy heck. All right, we definitely need reinforcements, so we'll do performance and fighter support. Or oh, they're positioning to board us. Uh, evasive. Yeah, now I turn, I try and turn evasive off to reset the timer. That's usually what I, I'd been doing, but some people didn't really like that. So I might, I'll just let the evasive run its course. I'm listening. I'm trying my best to listen to what people have to say, suggest. It's a lot. There's a lot. Look how many guys are on the screen. There's a lot for me to think about.
Having said that, we're doing quite well. The boost is nearly done. All right, there we go. So now that the boost is done, I think we've, I think we should still have it full set to weapons. Oh, we got focus fire. Jeez, I'm not even using that. Focus fire, focus. Now's the time though, hey. Cavallo as well. Having said that, I might have messed up there because they're coming in behind us. Hang on, hang on. Oh God, so we're going to waste that. Oh, we're getting boarded. Shit. Um, do we replenish shields? All right, hang on. Escobar. We need to get Escobar a close gun. Oh, oh, hang on. We're taking some damage now. Hang on. We'll go stealth mode. Attack enemies. Okay, good. That worked out. Alright, Escobar, back down here, mate. Oh, god damn it. Alright, we've still got some stealth mode. Paz, get on the repairs. Redenko. Fire extinguisher. Yo, I need to actually rejig my little emergency... My little... Stowages. All right, Paz. All right, Rudenko straight on it. Very good. Paz, I'll just double check what's going on there. Weapons. Yeah, I'm still I'm still subscribing to weapons first. You know. Alright, Cavallo, we're actually going to overdrive. Oh wow, Paz can overdrive as well. How are we doing? We've, we've, we've done some damage to him. Stuff this, we're going for it. Overdrive, overdrive. Overdrive. We're going all in on it. Oh, I see you back there sniffing at me bum. Evasive piloting. Oh no. Uh, Paz, jump on that. Cavallo, jump on that. Cavallo could at least focus fire, right? Oh, he can overdrive as well. Stop it. Let's go for it. Jesus, look at Rodenko's just done bloody lines of Adderall. He's just popping off. I feel like I'm going to just go attack move. Oh, we've got 100% of uh, it's because we're evasive. We'll try and get in range of some of these guys, you know? Oh, he got away. Did he get away? Is that what happened? Nah. Well, hang on. We probably don't need to run on overdrive then. Oh, I think it's going to cancel out anyway. All right. Well, that, that worked a little bit better. So you guys are 100% right. You can just calm down, Cavallo. 100% right about the... Uh, I get it, about getting the weapon types right. And it's not that I was ever refuting or arguing it. It's just... There's a lot going on. <laughs> you know? I'll put Paz in the engine preemptively. Yeah, because we've got the boost ready. Oh man, here we go. Yeah, so this is this is good. We're putting we're putting all the feedback. This is a feedback rebuilding phase. So this mission should be a little bit quicker, but that's good. Just to sort of test and adjust. It's like zeroing your rifle. Test and adjust. All right, what's going on here? Clear enemies, I see. I will right, put attack, because when they appear, she'll path straight to them. 
But I think as, as long as the guns are firing, you probably don't need to be on attack, right? So we'll go defense. We'll get Paz. Uh, we'll boost the engines. I don't suppose we've... No, they're not cooled down. Paz is boosting. Focus fire. Focus fire. Focus fire. Let's just do what we can early. Look at that. So I was too busy admiring my handiwork. Alright, we'll try and sit out in this view and we'll hold the evasive. Alright, Paz. Paz is still boosting. You see this? What's going on there? If I go attack, will she move the ship a bit? Because this guy's sitting in my weak spot because Paz isn't in the gun. You know what? Stuff it. I'm going to put Paz on the gun. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Faster, faster. There we go. I'd be curious, it seems like they've patched some things. Um, now granted, you know, I'm, I'm operating the weapons better, so it does feel a little easier. But I wonder, you know, this has come at the same time as it looks like they've patched a few things. It feels like we got slammed with way more enemies immediately when we t teleported in before. Like, they were there already, we didn't even have to wait for them to jump in. So, like, I don't know. I'd be curious to see how much this patch has changed. I didn't actually realize, so I didn't check any patch notes. We'll put her on defensive again. Yeah, as long as the guns are singing, defensive seems right to me. We did pick a medium one. This isn't high risk. But yeah, I don't want to speak out of turn, but we're doing this quite handily. Though I think having the speedier engines definitely made a difference. All right. So much so that I feel like almost at the top of the list, like definitely up towards the top of the list would be getting the next speedy engine. Yeah, so my point on damage, there's mitigation, there's avoidance, and then there's, um, I don't know what you would call it. I don't have a, a fancy word for it, but where you would actually try and kill the monster or bad guy or whatever with aggressive glass cannon damage before they can even bring damage to bear. The sort, that's sort of the three stages of dealing with damage. And interestingly, most people go for mitigation. They just accept that they're going to cop it, but they try and outlast it. You know, this is why people want healing spells in their games and that sort of stuff. Um, and then the next best thing usually is avoidance, like where you try and create a point. Well, the Dark Souls example probably stands where you go... Um, you, you leverage the iframes, the invulnerability frames and all that sort of stuff. You try and get really good at dodging through them so that the guy can't actually damage you at all. Lots of high dodge statistics, you know, 95% chance that they won't actually hit you. And you can see that in this game with the evasive percentage. And that's what we're trying to leverage with going on defense. Um, and the engine boosts as well. But then, yeah, so th that's the next sort of type. Oh, Paz, where are you going, mate? But yeah, I, pr I pretty much subscribe to the just kill them. Kill them really fast, and then there's no damage. But that's, you know, you could have probably guessed that having watched any of my channel. My obsession with the bloody barbarians and shit. Oh shit, there's even more. Alright, hang on. We should be able to call in support. She's defensive. Paz, get there.
Oh. Uh, boost engines. Yeah, so with the engine boost, what's the ev the evasiveness is over 50%, so half of the things probably, in theory, half of the shots aren't even going to hit us. Oh, yeah, got there. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. I'm going to do a little drifts behind me. Yeah, I'm still confused. Switches to an offensive pilot mode, which will plot a course toward enemy fighters. Yeah, yeah, look. But as long as one of the guns is firing, doesn't really matter. Come on, can we kill this guy before he attaches? And I'm just going to cancel evasive immediately. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Teamwork. That's what it's all about, a community sort of channel, you know, you guys giving me your feedback and we're trying to implement it as best as we can. I think, I think this mission, while it is easier, it's definitely gone smoother because of you guys, you know, raising the, the points that I'm sort of missing. But having said that, when we do a harder mission, How's that going to go when it's way more stress, you know? <laughs> and there's too much going on. I'll immediately, it'll all go out the window and I'll forget all the, <laughs> all the little tactics. But until then, I guess we'll just deal with what we've got. All right. He got away. That's fine. We scanned that thing for extra tech, so that's good. Stealth mode? What's stealth mode? Oh. Oh, because they're both uh, security officers. I wonder if we could, like, rotate them in the seat. So, put him into the seat to get his stealth mode bonus. Wait, I wonder... Oh! That never really occurred to me. Because you know what that makes me want to do immediately? That makes me want to get another comms officer and just have fighter support on constant rotation. Do you think that's possible? Maybe. Maybe. Adjust difficulty. Recruitment. Crew ready. Rescued crew. Yeah, what's adjust difficulty? Ah, oh, look at this. Oh, crew size. You can increase your crew size? Yeah, I thought someone was saying something about that. Tagging mode, classic, challenging. No, 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 we want all this. It, that's all fine. I'm not... I don't think we're quite at a point to, uh... To adjust the settings. Don't get me wrong, look, if, if I'm bad at a game, I'm willing to totally accept that and adjust the settings around it. But I think, to be perfectly honest, given the stress management that you're going on, you know, and, and even the commentators that are pointing out I'm dropping the ball on some areas will we'll probably understand that Try recording your gameplay and commentating and having people criticize it as well. It's not going to be perfect. So I think within within that realm, we're probably operating at an average level. So there's no reason for me to adjust the difficulty. I need to just suck it up and go with it. But um, it'll be interesting. We'll probably do one of the harder missions next episode. Especially now that we've sort of ironed out the, the, the kinks in our strategy. And we'll see how we go there. All right, team, thanks again for joining me. We might just leave it there for the time being, and I will catch you guys on the next one.